Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Eclipse Vox Correcting Misrecognitions, I'm going to show you how to simply and easily correct your voice model through Eclipse. Making corrections when Dragon misrecognizes an utterance is important so that your voice writing is as accurate as possible. Over time, submitting corrections will ensure that you have a well trained voice model. The content of this video is based on the training provided in Real-Time Voice Writing 9th Edition for Court Reporting, written by Betty A. Keyes. Before I begin submitting corrections, there are two relevant settings that I'd like to go over within Eclipse. If I press Alt-U or click on my Settings button and go to my Edit tab, in this window, there are two different automatic audio options. First is speech autoplay. If this is checked, when you global a word to make a correction, it will play the relevant portion of your voice file for you. If it's not checked, you won't hear anything when you global unless you hit the Vox Play button. The next automatic audio option is audio auto at the bottom. This controls how the audio behaves when you global and perform other similar editing commands. If this is set to play, it'll play the audio when you're done with globaling. If it's set to stop, it'll stop the audio when you begin the global. And if it's set to both, it'll do both of those actions. I'm going to leave mine set to none so that my room audio doesn't automatically play. The audio auto setting is just for room audio and not for your voice auto. The speech autoplay setting, however, is for the voice audio and not for the room audio. So right now I'm going to leave speech autoplay checked, and if I hit OK and go into my document and global any of these words, Whitman. you see that you can hear the voice track saying the word in question. Although I haven't done a lot of work in or training with my voice model, I actually had a little bit of trouble getting it to produce misrecognitions that I could use for this demonstration. As a result, I had to fudge some pronunciations a little bit in order to produce errors to demonstrate how to correct them. So these corrections that I'm submitting in this example may not sound as good as the corrections that you'll be submitting in your own work. The first example of a correction that I need to make in this document is here where it says in. This should actually say an instead and I said it a little bit sloppily, and it therefore recognized it as in. I'm going to submit this correction as and. I'm going to press Control G, and you heard the small utterance there. So I'm going to type in and, and since I want this correction to go to my voice model, I'm going to make sure that local replace is selected in the bottom right. If it's anything other than local replacement, that entry will instead go to a dictionary in Eclipse. And instead of correcting the drop down in your voice model, that will simply correct how Eclipse handles the drop down. Sometimes it's necessary to global things into job dictionaries. However, in this instance, we actually want to send this correction back to the voice model so that when I say the word and in conjunction with a bunch of words like this, it'll be more likely to recognize it as the correct word an instead of in, since I do have a tendency to say both of those words similarly when I'm speaking quickly and listing things. So I'm going to leave this as local replace to ensure that it'll send this correction back to my voice model and I'm just going to press OK or hit enter. And you see that it corrected this instance in my document and it didn't correct any of the other instances of the same error since it was a local replacement. It applies only to this specific instance of this specific voice utterance. Down here I have another example of the same error. I'll hit Ctrl G and and you see that as soon as I hit Ctrl G, since I do have speech autoplay checked, it played the utterance for me. I'm going to type in and again. And again, it's a local replacement and I'll press OK. The next two corrections that I have to send through are misrecognitions of the phrase speak to as the speaker speed to. Again, I'm going to place my cursor on the misrecognition and global it. Speed to so for this example, though, I'm going to type in speak to, and again, I'll make it a local replace and I'll hit enter. I can just quickly fix the formatting that resulted from that global. And down here, I have another example of the same error. I'll global this one. And speak to. And I'll global it as speak to. And again, it is a local replacement. And again, I can correct the formatting from that since I was joining paragraphs with a global. 
And so this document, although short, has been corrected, and I've submitted four different corrections to my voice model. Those corrections won't actually save unless I apply them manually by going to Vox Apply. Choosing the Vox Apply ensures that only good corrections are going through to your voice model. If you globaled anything that you don't actually want applied to your voice model, you can select it in this list and hit Delete, and then apply the rest of the corrections. I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply All. And all of my corrections have been applied and I can hit Close. In addition to using local replacements to make corrections in your document for single instance errors and misrecognitions, you can also use Trash Globals to correct multiple instances of the same error. If the speech recognition engine has dropped the same voice steno with the same misrecognition multiple times in the document and they should all be corrected, you can use a Trash Global to do that. Trash Globals will correct each instance of the global in question from the point you enter the global down in the document. So I'm going to use a Trash Global to correct Speaker 2 here. So I'm going to do Speak 2 and I'm going to make this a Trash Global. I can do that either by pressing Control T or from the drop down list I can choose Trash Global and I'll press OK. And you see that both instances of Speak 2 were changed to Speak 2. And I can simply correct the text to be formatted correctly since in that instance I was removing a paragraph. The same way that local replace globals appear in your apply corrections list, when I go to Vox Apply, you see that SPE2 has been changed to Speak2. And since this is a correction I want to push to my voice model, I can press Apply and then Close since I'm done with my editing session. When you place your cursor on a word and hit Control G, count. since I have speech autoplay checked, I automatically hear the voice track associated with that utterance. However, there is a Vox Play button within the global window, and you can always hit Vox Play count. to hear it once more. Walker. And I can press Vox Play Walker. and hear the utterance again. Walton. Walton. Using speech autoplay, and the Vox Play button ensure that you're only submitting corrections to your voice model that are good. Should you submit a correction to the voice model that you don't wish to push through, should you make a local replace that was incorrect, Walker. such as changing Walker to Water, you can go to Vox Apply and remove that bad correction from the list immediately after making the global to ensure that that correction doesn't get applied to your voice model. It may be easier while you're working to remove bad corrections from the Vox Apply list immediately after making them, rather than waiting until the end of the session. That way you can be sure that only good corrections are being applied. Typically at the end of your editing session you would go to Vox Apply, apply all of your desired corrections, and when you close out of Eclipse like I'm going to do now, you'll be prompted to save those corrections. Since I've made good changes to my voice model, I'm going to go ahead and click Yes to save my speech files. And once that message disappears, that's all there is to it. If I go back into Eclipse, I'm back in my file and there was one more misrecognition and so I'm going to show how to correct the misrecognition again, how to apply it, and then how to save your speech files by closing. Here we have, I cannot speak to the do function in the office. This should be dysfunction. I'm going to global do function and change it to dysfunction. Function. And again, I'm going to make this a local replacement. And when I go up to Vox and apply, you see that do function to dysfunction is in my speech corrections list. And I can apply or apply all, I'll apply all. My corrections have been applied and I can close this window. And now when I close Eclipse, I'll be prompted once again to save my speech files. And since I did push through good corrections, I want to hit yes. That's really all there is to submitting corrections to your voice model. If Dragon does drop down a misrecognized utterance into your transcript, you can simply global it as a local replacement to help train your voice model further. 
In general, you don't want to submit corrections for things that you said incorrectly or unusually, unless you think you might frequently say them that way again. Use the Vox Apply button to ensure that the best corrections are being applied to your voice model, and that any that are suspect have been removed before they're applied. And make sure that whenever you have made good corrections to your voice model, that you save your speech files when prompted by Eclipse. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about voice writing with Eclipse Vox or any of our other products or services, please don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support 24 seven. Tech support can be reached anytime, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy our content. Turn on notifications to be notified when we publish content in the future. Thanks so much and have a great day.